Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model. Today I'll be doing a review on a Gemini Jets Aerial Mexico Boeing 737-800 featuring the split scimitar winglets and a 1-200 scale model. I purchased this model from Troy's Toys based out of Overland Park, Kansas. His website is www.troystoysinc.com. Before I go into details about this model, allow me to share some information about Aerial Mexico and how they came about, okay? Please. Aerial Mexico was established as our Aerial Naves de Mexico on September 15, 1934 by an Antonio Diaz Lombard, and the airline's first plane was an A. Stinson SR. The late Julio Zinser actually piloted the first inaugural maiden flight, which flew from Mexico City, Mexico to Acapulco, Mexico on September 14, 1934. Then fast forward to February 1972, when the airlines changed its name from Aereo Naves de Mexico to what is known today as Aereo Mexico. Then fast forward to October 1st, 1988, that's when Aereo VS de Mexico SA DCV was created using the trading name Aereo Mexico and the emblem of the Eagle Warrior. The headquarters of Aereo Mexico is located in the Colonia Kildemont section of Mexico City, while the airline's main base and hub of operations is located on the grounds of Mexico City International Airport, which is located approximately 3.1 miles east of downtown Mexico City, Mexico, while the airline also has a secondary hub that's located on the grounds of Monterey International Airport, which is located in the Apodaca section of Monterey, Mexico. And the focus seas of Aereo Mexico are Cancun International Airport, located in Cancun, Mexico, Guadalajara International Airport, located in Guadalajara, Mexico, and Tijuana International Airport, located in Tijuana, Baja, California, Mexico. And Aereo Mexico also has the United States Administrative Office that's located in Houston, Texas. Aereo Mexico flies to 84 destinations in Mexico, North America, South America, Central America, the Caribbean, Europe, and Asia with the operating fleet of 71 aircraft, which consists of 19 Boeing 737-700s, 35 Boeing 737-800s, 3 Boeing 777-200ERs, 9 Boeing 787-8 Dreamliners, and 5 Boeing 787-9 Stretch Dreamliners. And in addition to the 71 aircraft that's already operating in the Aereo Mexico fleet, the airline also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 66 aircraft, which includes 60 of the next generation Boeing 737 Max 8s and 6 Boeing 787 9 Stretch Dreamliners. And as of June 2017, or at the time of this video review posting, Aereo Mexico currently operates as a certified three star airline carrier, according to the international airline review firm Skytrax Magazine, and the Boeing customer code for Aereo Mexico is 52. All right, folks, this is the front of the box you're looking at You see the engraved Gemini 200 decal right there, the Aerial Mexico title and the logo right there, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type, and then there's the model uh, information right there at the lower part of the box, all right? All right, and this is the back of the box you see here, the Gemini Jets information. The Facebook uh, page, you can go to a social media page and get information about present as well as past and future releases there. And then there's the Boeing official license product decal right there as well. All right. All right, this is the top of the box you see here, the warning information right there featuring the Gemini 200 decal, all that engraved in gold there. All right, and this is the top of the box right here as well. And you can also go to their website, www.geminijets.com, and get information about this model or any other model you're looking for as well there as well, okay? All right, this is the left side of the box here with all the information there featuring the computer generated picture of the aircraft and the aircraft type right there. And finally, the right side of the box there as well, all right? Okay, this is the front of the box you see here again. And the reason I got in this position at this angle, because this is a flat box, I'm gonna open that up like that. See that? Then I'm gonna flip that over like that. And that's the foam right there. It's coming up the model. And you see right there, that is the uh, tripod model stand. I'll take all that out in a moment. But in the meantime, I'm gonna take this foam off here that's covering the model. 
and I'll let you see the model right here. There you go. That's the model right there. And then there's the uh, gear replacement doors as well. Okay, I'm going to take all that out right now. Okay. Okay. I finally took out the tripod stand you see there. I put it together. And that's what it looks like right here, folks. All right. All right. And this little plastic bag, you see, I took that out of the packaging as well. These are the gear detachment doors as well. Please stay tuned. I'll go into detail for the purpose of these later on, okay? All right. With all that information out of the way about the history of Ariel Mesco and how they came about, all the details here on the boxing, the packaging, including the tripod stand, and the uh, gear detachment doors in there as well, as well as the model. Here is the model out of the packaging, folks. Here it is. All right, there it is. The Gemini Jets Aereo Mexico Boeing 737-800 featuring the split scimitar wings and a 1-200 scale model. Allow me to share some information about the delivery, okay? It ain't much, but I just this is what I found out. Aereo Mexico adopted a new corporate identity sometime in 2007, which included a new livery makeover, which is this what you see on the aircraft. And this livery has been the airline's signature livery look ever since 2007. All right? So with that said, let's get down to business and let me show you all the details on this aircraft mount, shall we? Let's roll. All right, we're going to start on the port slash left side of the aircraft here. You see the uh, nose gears right here. The nose gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on it, AMK. The pedal tubes and the static ports right there. The nose cone. The windshield wipers, the cockpit windows. I'll give you a better visual view of those later on in the review. And then this little decal right here you see here between the cockpit windows and the L1 boarding door. That is the Sky Team logo. And Aereo Mexico joined the Sky Team Alliance as one of the four founding members along with Air France, Delta, and Korean Air on June 22, 2000, which consists of 20 airline members from five inhabited continents. And then right here by the L1 boarding door, you see the Aereo Mexico title right here. And then right by the, the Aereo Mexico title, that is the Mexican flag decal. And this flag decal represents the country where Aereo Mexico currently operates from as the national flag carrier for the country of Mexico. And then you see the nice little red cheek line here across the aircraft here. Very impressive there, okay. All right, now you're looking at these engines here on the port side still, with all the details here on the column right here, featuring the engine cones right here, back here, very detailed there as well. And these are the CFMI-CFM56-7B27 e engines that Aereo Mexico uses on this particular Boeing 737-800 aircraft, featuring the split scimitar wings, okay? I'm going to turn this uh, model around let you see the turbo fan blades, but the turbo fan blades do not spin, so I'm going to show you anyway, all right? All right, now you're looking at the front angle of these uh, engines right here. There's the engine strike right there. As I mentioned, the turbo fan blades do not spin, see? Okay, and there's the inboard land light right here on the edge of the wing there, and then there's the uh, bogey gear here on the port side there as well, all right? All right, now you're looking at the uh, engine on the starboard side featuring the engine strikes over here as well. And the turbo fan blades do not spin over here as well, okay? Stuck there, you know, but it is what it is. And then there's the inboard landing light right there as well, as well as the bogey gear here on the starboard side there as well, all right? All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft, you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the nose cone, you see the Peter 2s on both sides of the aircraft, the nose gear and the nose gear landing lights right there inside there as well, and the nose gear doors there as well, okay? So with that said, I'm gonna take it back to the uh, port side because there's more information to share with you over there as well, all right? Let's roll. All right, and behind these CFM 56 engines, you got a better view of the bogey gears here on the uh, port side featuring the bogey gear struts and the bogey gear door there as well, all right? All right, now you're looking at the, uh, you're still on the port side and there's the uh, red navigation light right there by the uh, wingtip device right there, that specialized wingtip device. 
and that special wingtip device you see here folks this customized wingtip device it's actually called the split scimitar winglet and the split scimitar winglets was actually launched and made by aviation partners born a subsidiary of born in 2013 and the purpose of these split scimitar wings is to help reduce fuel consumption, improve aerodynamics, and enhance aircraft efficiency. Chicago-based United Airlines became the first airline in the world, as well as being the launch customer, to have the split scimitar wings installed on their Boeing 737-800 aircraft on February 18, 2014. Okay, and you also see how it's painted in red, the upper part blue and then the lower part of sk uh, skimitar wing is painted in red there as well all right all right in the back of the aircraft here on the port side still you see the registration ship number xa-amk all right registration ship number xa-amk this is aerial mexico's 13th boeing 737-800 aircraft to enter their fleet and the first test flight on this aircraft took place on october 9 2012 and was delivered to Aereo Mexico on October 23rd, 2012. Okay. All right. Now you see this logo here displayed on the tail here. That is Aereo Mexico's logo, which is actually called an Aztec Eagle Warrior. And an Aztec Eagle Warrior were a special class of infantry soldiers, sorry about that, whose people were of certain ethnic groups of the Aztec Society of Central Mexico who dominated large parts of Mesoamerica from the 14th to the 16th centuries. You also see the uh, the Aztec Eagle Warrior Head logo here on inside the uh, Charlotte right there as well. I'm going to let you bring it up a little closer and let you see it, all right? All right, look real closely there. That is the uh, Aerial Mexico Aztec, Aztec Warrior Head logo right there inside the uh, split scimitar wing there as well. All right, I'm going to show you at a different angle later on. Stay tuned for that part, okay? All right, we're at the back of the aircraft. We see the APU exhaust hole right here. And right above the APU exhaust hole, that's the strobe light right there, very detailed right there. And if you don't know what APU stands for, it stands for Auxiliary Power Unit. That's what the exhaust hole is called here, folks, all right? All right, and this is the back of the aircraft, the Aerial Mexico 737-800, featuring the split scimitar winglets. And you also see the, uh, the split scimitar wings on both sides here, on the starboard side, as well as the port side there as well. All right. Okay, if I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model and the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model is entirety in detail, here's one feature I'm going to show you, the rolling gears, they do roll. And then they also tilt as well. Sad to tell you the front nose gear does not swivel at all. So just to let you know that. But other than that, it's still all good. Okay. So with that said, allow me to show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model. All right. Let's roll. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the area of bird's eye view. Here it is. There's the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the Sky Team logo on both sides, the area of Mexico title on both sides. Mexican flag decal on both sides, the anti-collision beacon light right here, high frequency antenna there, ADF antenna there in 3D, that's the satellite communications antenna right there, another high frequency antenna, the vertical stabilizer, and you see the little dot here on the horizontal stabilizer there, as well as over here as well. Those are the illuminator light that light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. And there's also the uh, partial registration ship number here on the tail here as well, all right? Let's check out the wings here. The mer uh, emergency wing walkway. There's the engine. You see the flaps, slats, ailerons, uh, spoilers, what have you. The registration ship number. The fuel dump valve right there. And then right there on the winglet, you see the uh, Aztec Warrior Aerial Mexico's logo right there I showed you earlier. There it is right there. And then you come over here. There's the wing walkway, the engine. Flaps, slats, aileron, spoilers, what have you. And then there's the um, fuel dump valve over here, as well as the Aztec Warrior Head Aerial Mexico's logo on this side as well. All right, very detailed. Okay, now I'm going to show you the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft. There's the nose cone. 
the nose gear door, the nose gear, high freaks antenna, Gym not just logo. There's the hole where the stand goes in at. The anti collision beacon light here on the belly. The detachable gears right there. Another high freaks antenna. Pressure lead valve. And that's the tail skid right there. And the APU housing doors right there. And that's the horizontal stabilizer right there underneath. And then there's the gears over here. The engine right there. Very detailed. The engine strike. There's the registration ship number. The fuel dump valve, and then it's the lower part of the split scimitar wing that's featured there. Same over here as well. The gears, you see the engine right there, very detailed there. And there's the uh, fuel dump valve right there, and there's the lower part of the split scimitar wing on this side here as well. Okay, folks, I forgot to show you the starboard side before I went to the aerial and the undercarriage view. view. Sorry about that. But anyway, here's the nose gears here, the nose gear door with the partial restraint ship number on there, the Peter tube and the static port, the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit window, the Sky Team logo here, the aerial Mexico title right there, the Mexican flag decal. You see the red little cheat line right here swooping across the aircraft there. And then there's the uh, front bolt being door there as well. Okay. Okay. Now you're looking at the inboard landing light here on the starboard side. And there's the uh, CFM 56 uh, engines here, very detailed here on the starboard side, featuring the engine cones here, as well as the bogey gear right here, as well as the bogey struts and the bogey gear door there as well. Okay. All right. Now you're looking at the. Uh, Split scimitar winged here on the starboard side. I was painted in red. The tip of it is red, and the lower part is red, and the rest of it is blue. And then there's the green navigation light right there as well. All right. All right. Now the back of the aircraft. See the rear car. Here's the rear uh, boat bend door. Sorry about that. The registration ship number and Aerial Mexico's Aztec Warrior Head logo right there displayed here on the tail as well as the partial registration you see at the top of the uh, tail painted the tip of it is red there as well all right now since I'll show you all the details now I'm gonna put this model on that little tripod stand that I showed you earlier right there okay so no further ado here is the model on the tripod stand all right, there it is, folks. I got it on stand with no problems, hanging in there so far. This is the tripod standing here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I'm just going to swerve and get straight to the point here. Swerve around right here. It's the front angle of this aircraft. There's the starboard side right there. And the tail cam angle. All right. Now I'm gonna turn back over here, and before I take this model stand, I'm gonna put it at another angle. Right, hold on. Okay, before I take this model stand, I got this angle for a reason, and the reason is these gears. I'm going to take them off. Start at the front nose gear right here. They're detached, but not retractable. Big difference there. And I'm gonna there right there, and the gears over here as well see all right okay since I took the uh, the aircraft the gears off there sorry about that took the gears off the uh, model I'm gonna let you see this model at a different angle so here it is folks okay finally got the gears off here now I got to display it in in-flight mode okay you got one or two options from this point on option number one is if you wanted to keep it like this and in in-flight mode without the gears that's fine these gear replacements that I showed, these gear detachment doors that I showed you earlier, you could use these to substitute the gears for your model if you choose. Or uh, option number two, you just leave the gears on there, leave them in a the gear down position. Okay, that's your choice. I leave mine in the gear down position. It makes the model more valuable and more appealing. Okay. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and take this model off the stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review. Okay. All right. Let's talk about the seat and configuration. The Aereo Mexico Boeing 737-800 aircraft featuring the split scimitar winglet seats 160 passengers in a three-class configurated cabin layout, according to SeatGuru.com. Now here's the breakdown, folks, from rows one to four. 
which will be from here to about right here. You have 16 class premier business class seats in row six to eight, which will be about from here to here. You have 18 AM plus seats in rows nine to 30, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have 126 main cabin economy class seats. However, row nine does not have a window, so you get the idea there, which brings that total 160 seats. And finally, Aerial Mexico currently utilizes their Boeing 737-800 aircraft, featuring the split scimitar winglets on routes from their Mexico City hub to destinations such as Bogota, Colombia, Boston, Cancun, Chicago O'Hare, Chihuahua, Dallas Fort Worth, Denver, Detroit, Guadalajara, Havana, Hermisolo, Houston Bush Intercontinental, Las Vegas, Lima, Peru, Los Angeles, Merida, Medellin, Mexicali, Montreal, New York JFK, Orlando, Panama City, Puerto Vallarta, Quito, Ecuador, San Francisco, San Jose, Costa Rica, Tijuana, Toronto, Vancouver, Villa Hermosa, and Washington Dulles. Well, folks, this concludes this model review. Please rate and subscribe and leave me your comments and suggestions. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting this model. This model is becoming very scarce as we speak right now. You definitely want to snatch it up. I have one more Aerial Mexico model, which is the Boeing 787-9 Stress Dreamliner in this uh, livery and a 1-200 scale model, but I will show it at a later date. Okay, so with that said, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming.